Prosecutors have dropped murder charges against a former Santa Fe City employee accused of shooting another city worker to death. We've learned why the state dismissed those charges, even though it was caught on camera. There's no charge that fits this. Mr. Mr. Rougemont was acting in self-defense. The New Mexico Department of Justice has dismissed the second-degree murder charge against Carl Rougemont. The former Santa Fe City employee shot and killed another city worker, Christopher V. Hill, after getting into a fight in March of 2022. The whole thing caught on cell phone video. I mean, this happened, you know, at a, at a, in a busy intersection in, 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 in Santa Fe. And so there were several video, phone videos from several different angles that was the, uh, that formed the basis for the self-defense claim. At the time, it was widely reported that this was a road rage incident, but the evidence didn't support that claim, according to Assistant Attorney General John Duran. We also looked at some surveillance videos from local businesses in the area that sort of captured that intersection. We just didn't see that. We didn't see any evidence of aggressive driving. Rougemont's lawyer, Thomas Clark, has a theory about why. I suspect that Mr. Mr. Duran's predecessor, who will remain unnamed, I don't think he works for the AG's office anymore, um, didn't really review the evidence prior to charging this. If there was going to be probable cause for any charges, I think it likely should have been for voluntary manslaughter. But Duran doesn't think that charge would have worked. We learned that uh, Chris, the, the decedent, had actually pulled the shooter, Rujamont, out of his vehicle at that intersection um, and was sort of the instigator uh, of the fight um, by doing that. So that, that fact alone was going to be um, very difficult for us to overcome. The New Mexico Department of Justice dismissed the charge, saying they would not be able to prove this was not self-defense. Getting stomped while you're on the ground is certainly, um, it's certainly justifiable to use deadly force. Rougemont's lawyer applauded the decision. It takes a good lawyer and a very ethical lawyer to walk back on something that's been pending for so long, but uh, you realize you're about to face a trial and uh, you realize the evidence just doesn't suggest that Mr. Rougemont did anything else but defend himself. Rougemont and Vigil both worked in Santa Fe's Public Utilities Department. Their union said the two had issues for at least a year before Vigil's death. During an investigation we did on issues with Santa Fe employees back in 2022, the city said they had no record of issues between those two employees.